Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a projector by Author, and this is the K-Line model that I got it from Amazon for £250. This is a mini projector and it's with a DLP technology. So instead of your normal LCD or LED projector that I've tested before, this one uses a different kind of technology. It uses very small mirrors to redirect light and in resulting should be a brighter kind of a uh, pictures on the wall. This one have Android system in it with two gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabyte of um, ROM. Native resolution is 960 by 540p. So it's a bit less than your uh, 1080p display. But again, they put it up front. So you know what you're paying for. Low noise is where every brand claims they are low noise. But we will see in my video if they're actually low noise or not. Another interesting fact that they put on the advertisement is that you can use it with the light on or off. Now that is a game changer if that is true. I personally quite skeptical and I doubt it, but maybe this is a lot brighter than your normal monitor. I mean, they did mention the best experience will be with the lights dimmed or lights off for watching movie, but it will be a nice thing to know that with the light on that you can still like half use it maybe but I'm gonna again I'm gonna show you guys in the demo demo video that I'm gonna show you later size wise this can project up to uh, 300 inch but the optimum will be around 80 to 120 inch which is perfect for my studio here if you find my information useful and enjoy my video don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow because it's a mini projector so the box itself is actually quite minimal. There is not much like information on the box in terms of the specification of this projector, but it does come with a very nice sturdy box. Okay, you have that good feeling when you open the box and you can see that it's actually glue lined, a kind of foam in there. It does give you that premium feel. I know we probably don't use the box and just go in the bin, but it's nice to see that they actually put some effort into presenting the projector. After all, you are paying £250 for this. So inside you got nicely laid out, you got your remote control, HDMI cable, it comes with a tripod mount, come with a power supply, information leaflet at the bottom, Look at the format or the size of this is tiny. So it's a square of 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters. You got your tripod mount on the center on the bottom of the machine. On the rear, you have the power input, USB, HDMI, you got USB 2, and you got your headphone jack on the back. Okay, you got fan and heat sink on this side and you got two speaker on the other side and that's about it not a lot to show you because it's so small two triple a battery for the remote okay once you power it up you got the red led in the front if i press the power button Okay, so it's not quiet. But it's not really low noise either. First of all, I have to say my first impression of the sound is actually quite good. Um, just the intro kind of a melody, it does give you that kind of a deep, deeper bass. I mean, it's not like subwoofer bass. But I can I can tell the difference straight away. So three meters from my wall, um, the wall size here um, diagonally that is about 120 inch. So if it is full screen, that will be the perfect viewing angle for me at about three meters away. There's no ring to turn by hand, so all you do is uh, use the buttons on this to turn. I quite like this because a lot of the time the focusing ring they are not really that uh, accurate. So yeah, so the keystone is automatically adjusting. So I'm not sure if you can see it over there. For example, if I tilt it down, 
it went out of alignment so but then the lens will automatically making sure the screen is perfectly square and the second thing I really really have to like you know give them a thumbs up is how bright the screen is um, I'm not sure if I can but if I put up a screenshot of my previous video on my budget projector you will see that when the lights are on you can't even use the menu to navigate but here this is the menu um, base menu and I have no problem looking at corner to corner everything is sharp the date uh, you need to readjust obviously uh, because it's not the right time and date but everything is in focus and bright enough to use so what they say on the ad is quite true in terms of like you know you can use it like uh, with light on or off at the moment we'll test it with some video and we'll see what happens but let me change the camera angle so you guys can have a better look at the screen so it is such a refreshing experience to be able to test a projector with all the lights on in the room. The screen is quite sharp from edge to edge. Um, my latest uh, budget projector, the 60 pound one, was quite blurry on the edge. But this one, from the Ed logo to the YouTube logo right in the middle, everything is sharp. It's really impressive because like, uh, the difference between the DLP system and the LCD system is that this one, the pixel is slightly bigger than the LCD ones but they are so sharp all the pixels um, they are tiny mirrors basically and um, it makes a difference between this one and the other even though it's not full HD but, um, the image is sharp from corner to corner so let's play that video again So that was um, playing off a hard disk. Um, now I want to test out the internal system. So this is Android, and because it's an Android system, it gives you the flexibility of not having to plug in something to play anything. So let's try out the YouTube. The little things we do help protect the little things we love. Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. This one I bought it from Amazon for £250 and it's called a laser packer. And this is the little device that comes with a lot of health warning before you're allowed to use it. So let's play the same video again. And, uh... With screen mirroring, I can't stream Netflix or Prime Video onto the screen because of copyright. But because the app is actually inside the Android kind of a projector system, you can actually stream directly from the software right here. So even better because there is no wire, I don't need to power up a fire stick. But let's say if I really want to stream from my phone, now I have an Android phone, and uh, Miracast is what I use for Android. And then what I do is I go onto my phone and start my stream mm, cast. So I have on my phone showing Mcast59. So that's exactly what the projector name is. So I click on that. as easy as that so now this is projected on the screen so if i turn off rotation hello i'm benson and welcome to my channel this one i bought it from amazon for 250 pounds and it's called a laser packer 
And this is the little device that comes with a lot of health warning before you're allowed to use it. So this is the main machine. So a bit of a disappointment here, I don't when know why, the but program, you actually there is a delay in terms of uh, voice and video, which does not happen in my other projector test. The wooden rule I think they gave us is 200, so um, let's lower this a bit to make sure and that we I'm are not sure why, because it doesn't... Things. Okay, so yeah, I don't know why YouTube has a bit of a sound delay. Usually YouTube is the one have the least amount of... Uh, it comes out of a tradition dating all the way back to Qin Shi Huangdi, the unifying emperor of China. It was recorded in the main... And in terms of brightness, it's pretty good because I have half of my lights on in the room, so... Actually, having all the lights on and you can still navigate and watch video is pretty amazing. And you can download apps like, uh, I guess, if you need to. You got Netflix already built in. You got YouTube, and um, yeah, so you can have HDMI. You can plug it in your own Fire Stick. Most of the noise will be coming out from this port right here. So if I stick it really close. And then if you are like just step a little bit away and you won't be hearing that anymore so I would like to end my video here it's amazing because such a small footprint the sound is amazing the brightness oh my god it's like it's the first time that I am actually doing a review and with my camera without having to switch all the lights off you can still watch kind of um, okay comfortably with um, the lights on I mean, usually at this point, I need to switch on the light and then you can't see the screen. And um, yeah, it's okay. You can, do it, you can do it with some lights on. You still need to switch off all the lights if you want to watch a proper movie. But let's say if you're watching news or watching telly, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with kind of um, uh, half the lights on and all that. So that is good. Now, one disappointing thing about the K9 uh, projector is that the mirror casting option um, there is a kind of two or two second delay, which is really really annoying. So even the cheapest uh, Wi-Fi projector I have tested doesn't have that problem. So I think it's something to do with the machine itself. Um, hopefully I can sort it out. But um, if I do manage to sort it out, I will put it in um, the update video. Actually, the digital focusing, um, I don't really need it i mean i'm i'm perfectly fine with adjusting a wheel in fact when you try to adjust the focusing on the remote it's not like a button you press it it kind of moves a little bit so at the end i still need to press the button on the machine like the plus and minus physical button will give you a much better response a much better precise adjustment of the focus the keystone adjustment is fantastic. As soon as you move the uh, screen up and down, for example, if you need to have it low down or high up, it will automatically adjust the, the ratio for you. So there will be no kind of um, off square kind of an image. It's always that on square. Picture quality is good. So in the middle to the edge is all cleared. Cheaper projector I have tested before where it, the middle is good focusing and then it get a bit blurry to the end. It doesn't have that because it used tiny mirrors the DLP so I find that sometimes the image is better with the normal LCD uh, projector but sometimes it's better with DLP it's hard to explain so 250 pound will get you a tiny projector very small fan noise um, and very bright projector so if that is what your requirement is try the K9 if, um, if you if you're really on a tight budget I got a few projectors that I have tested which I can recommend um, check out my playlist and um, see you next time if you find my information useful and like my video don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow and I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting products bye bye